Thousands of jobs in Jacksonville could be in jeopardy. That's what local maritime experts fear if President Trump decides to waive the Jones Act for Puerto Rico. Action News Jack's Lorena Inclan spoke to local maritime leaders about what the potential cut would mean for local jobs. There's a tug of war happening in Washington right now over the Jones Act, a nearly 100 year old law that requires U.S. built, flagged, and crewed vessels move cargo between U.S. seaports. It's a policy that supports one of Northeast Florida's biggest trade routes, Jacksonville to San Juan. Crowley is one of the major players. Most recently, it helps supply liquefied natural gas or LNG to the island. Crowley, for instance, has shipped 13 million gallons of LNG to Puerto Rico in the last five years safely and reliably uh, on Jones Act vessels. An economic development study by Price Waterhouse Coopers shows the Jones Act supports 9,100 direct and indirect jobs in Northeast Florida alone. Florida is the second largest state in domestic maritime industry jobs at 66,000 and a $15 billion economic impact. But opponents of the Jones Act call it archaic, saying it contributes to the higher costs of fuel and goods in Puerto Rico, which is still trying to recover from her. Hurricane Maria. But Tote, another major player in the Jacksonville San Juan trade lane, says the island's infrastructure is not yet ready to support more LNG shipments. Right now, the, uh, the island is less than 30 percent LNG. Uh, 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 basically power. When I asked what would happen if the Jones Act went away, Eduardo Pagan put it this way. It's going to be very, very uh, catastrophic as far as the, there is a lot, of, uh, a lot of jobs that depend on the reliability of, uh, of our service today. Lorena Inclan, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.